going on guys Trey coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web and today we are going to be getting into our prize highlights video so first and foremost we have our leaderboard prize Mr. Kion I think that's how you say it so Kion is an air guru um I personally am not feeling this guy's looks whatsoever he's looking straight up weird to me but um here's what we got on Mr. Kion He's a guru, so he has very high wisdom, 12,103, and he has very high agility, 11,520. Cooldown of 2 at max self, new skill, shriek all elite, on the magical skill based on wisdom. Loud is the shroud that your band apart shall wear. So um, we don't know much about it yet. No, um, All we know really is that it hits all based off of wisdom. And the rest we're going to find out at a later time when somebody nabs this guy. Um, he does have it on his epic version up here as you can see. But it's the adept version a little bit weaker. Multiply ain't as high that sort of stuff. So um, we'll see what's going on with Mr. Kion a little bit later down the line. Um, he's a guru. He doesn't have much AP, HP. doesn't have much attack. And doesn't have much defense. That's pretty much typical of gurus. Um, he does have a lot. But of course he's a legendary guru. So... He does have to have a little bit more HP attack and defense than like regular epic gurus, but still, you know, compared to other legendaries, uh, not too much there. So moving right along, we got our bracket battle prizes. We got Mr. Dottobach here. Um, this look is okay, look like a wino or something like that, <laughs> um, riding a little donkey. So Dottobach is a water champ. Um, so of course he's going to have the HP, the attack, the defense, wisdom and agility he's not going to have so much of, um, drench all elite, elite guys, um, I'm pretty sure to my knowledge since I've been playing this game, I've never seen anything less than a legendary have an all skill that was elite or at least drench all elite. I ain't going to say all, all skills. But at least Drench All Elite, to my knowledge, I have not seen it to this day. Um, it is based off of attack. has a cooldown of 5-3. So, um, douses every foe's hydrophobic core and water. So, that's something new. Um, once again, to my knowledge, I've never seen that. So, um, this guy's a little bit unique, guys. Um, stats ain't nothing too fantastical. But, I mean, he's not really horrible. 4920 HP, 5724 attack, 3982 defense. I mean, that's pretty decent. Especially when you couple it with the fact that he has an elite all skill. So um, this guy actually looks pretty decent, guys. And it, for the ones that don't want to keep him and use him in your band, um, he's pretty good um, super fuse fodder for HP and attack. So um, you may want to consider that as well. All right, points prizes here. We have... Our Kikaval, aka Rock and Cock Recolor here, Bonavoxa. So, um, yeah, just the Kikaval Recolor. He is a Lightning Rogue. So, Rogues usually have the agility and some attack, but this guy's a preempt. Um, the sad thing about this uh, guy here is he's only preempt adept. Which means the multiplier is not as high, which means it does not deal as much damage as someone who had preempt elite. So he's single target, but it's a depth version. It is based off of attack, of course. So he goes first as long as he has the highest agility against any other preempts, which he most likely will not. So um, this guy here, guys, I would just don't do it. Don't get him um, unless you're a straight up fresh beginner. This is your very first event since you played the game. Uh, then, of course, you know, you kind of don't have a choice. Just get what you can. But um, other than that, this guy's barely super fuse fodder worthy, for, even for agility. So um, he's over 500, though, so which is nice. So um, if you wanted to use him for agility fodder, you can definitely go ahead and five for five this guy for that. But other than that, unless you're a fresh beginner, do not even bother with this guy. He is not good at all. And last but not least, we have our new legendary from the Carboy Paid Bill, Flutherail. So, he is a water champ. 
very high HP guys 12,285 that is some high HP right there um, coupled with decent attack and defense for the legendary champs that we've been seeing thus far um, wisdom not so much he's not gonna have much use for wisdom anyway being a champ and then this guy has some serious agility guys um, for a champ almost 4,000 agility that is unheard of um, that is definitely unheard of once again so this guy is quick um, he's going to outspeed pretty much every other champ on the game. Um, I haven't really looked up and, you know, 100% confirmed that, but he's just fast. He's a really fast champ, guys. So um, he's going to go first in all likelihood. Unless, of course, you're going against the pre Thor or something, then he's not going to. So, new skill, Dunnybrook All Elite. Cooldown of 3-2. Duck the cast. Wipe the screen. Something wet this way comes. So if you were able to check that out um, on the screen where it kind of describes him, he just throws a barrel and all kinds of what I'm guessing is liquor comes out or some alcoholic beverage, I'm sure, because his name got all kind of stuff to do with alcoholic drinks, Flutherell, or his epic name is like Grog something. So this guy's definitely alcoholic, that's for sure. He's getting his drink on. <laughs> but this guy's pretty nice, guys. Um. If you're able to go ahead and go into the pay bill, this guy's definitely worth it. Um, he's pretty nice. And if I freaking had the opportunity or cared enough, I probably would get him myself. But uh, we'll see what happens. All right. So that's our prize highlights. Of course, we got to go ahead and do our comparisons real quick. So let us go do that. The first one we need to compare is Kion, our Air Guru leaderboard legendary. And the only really fair one to compare him to would be Zuleika here. Um, I don't think there's any other 3 for 3 legendary gurus out to, to date. Um, I don't think so. I could be wrong, but um, I don't think there is. So, these guys are both gurus, but there's a major difference. Um, Zuleika kind of reminds me of Sulagran in the fact that. Um, she's slow, really low agility for a guru, 47.54, but she packs a lot of HP and wisdom. Um, 7,002 HP, 14,374 wisdom, and Kayom is kind of a different type of guru, more of the usual kind we've been seeing um, before DNA decided to start throwing us these buffed up gurus with HP. Um, like I think I believe Bombazin was like one of the first ones that really had like a lot of HP for a guru But um, I'm comparing these two. They're pretty similar, but they're also a little bit different um, Kayom is more agility based much faster than Zuleika um, 6,766 more agility than Zuleika while and also Zuleika has the wisdom um, 2,271 more than Kayom so Kayom is a little bit more of the gurus we're used to seeing, high wisdom, high agility, um, quick, but packs a nice wallop. Um, Kayom only has 4200 HP, which is 2795 lower than Zuleika. Um, attack doesn't really matter on these two. Zuleika, though, has the cooldown, guys. So while Zuleika has 2033 less attack than Kayom, um, she only needs to attack once and then she's ready to do that Bewitch All Elite again. So um, they both have an All Elite skill. Zuleika Bewitch All Elite, Kayom Shriek All Elite. But Kayom's cooldown is 3-2. Now, who's the better fighter? Well, here's a new thing that I'm going to be introducing in these prize highlights videos, guys. Something I haven't done before. Um, what I'm going to be doing is talking about the total overall stats. And basically what I mean by that is I'm just going to add up all their stats. Their HP, their attack, their defense, their wisdom, their agility. I'm just going to add it all up into one big number. And in all honesty, if you wanted to know the better fighter, that is pretty much your answer. So, Kayom has a total stats of 32,707. Zuleika's total stats are 29,558. So statistically speaking, Kayom is the better fighter. Overall, Kayom, yes, is the better fighter. But when you want to get more specific, guys, in my opinion, I would go with Zuleika. And the main reason being is the cooldown, guys. Um, 
the cooldown of Zuleika is one at max Seth. So she's going to be busting a whole bunch of heads open every other turn. So although Kyom is much faster and has much higher attack, it doesn't really too much matter with these gurus. And the agility, of course, does matter. But it's all in how you use them and also what you are looking for as a player. What does your band need? Do you need someone who's going to pack a wallet with the wisdom? Or do you just need someone who's going to be quick with the wisdom? So it's up to you, but me personally, I would give the edge to Zuleika. Um, the only thing I wouldn't be too happy about, of course, is Zuleika's fire. And we got like 9,000 fire gurus. I mean, fire legendaries. And we maybe got 100. I'm just throwing dumb numbers out there, guys. Don't take them literally. But we have way less air legendaries than we have fire legendaries. Is basically all I'm saying. So I would give the edge to Zuleika, me personally. All right, the next one we need to compare here is Mr. Dottobach. And the one we're going to be comparing Dottobach to is right here, Nilasign. So, they're both water champs. They both have Drench All. They both have a cooldown of 5-3. Um, the main difference being here, guys, Dottobach, like I said before, is the first one to have that elite drench all elite while Nyla sign here only has the adept version so daughter box is going to have the higher multiplier so with him having the same exact cooldown um, daughter box is going to be the guy you're going to want to go to um, comparing their stats um, daughter box has total stats of 15,863 while Nylasan has 14,160. Um, Dottobach has 395 more HP. 345, I'm sorry. 345 more HP. 492 more attack. 1,176 more defense. Nylasan has 99 more wisdom and 211 more agility. So, um, my opinion, Dottobach is the winner all day here. Um, the fact that he has a lower amount of wisdom doesn't really matter. He's not going to use it. And both champs are really slow as it is. Um, 211 agility isn't going to make much of a difference when you compare it against the other fighters you may happen to be going up against in battle. So I would definitely give it to Dada Bok. That multiplier is the bigger edge for sure. Um, the next one we need to compare is Bonavoxa. Um, nothing really too special here. I almost didn't want to compare him, but I just didn't want to leave him out, I guess. Um, so the one I'm going to be comparing him to is not Lightning Element. Duh. Uh, let's see here. Oh, dang it. I just saw him on the first page. Whoopsies. All right, here we are. I decided to compare this guy to Ashnan, who was a fighter from an older dungeon event. So, um, Bonavox is a lightning road, Ashnan is an air road. Um, total stats here, Bonavox 12,728 to Ashnan's 11,017. So, Bonavox statistically is the all-around better fighter. 350 more HP, 268 more attack, 183 more defense, 258 more wisdom, and 652 more agility. They both have a cooldown of 2 old, but the, the difference, guys, once again, Bonavoxa, preempt adept, Ashnan, preempt elite. And that pretty much says it all, guys. Um, If you're using um, either one of these fighters, say you're using Ashnan now, I personally would not go for a Bonavoxa at all. That lower multiplier is just, is not, is not good, basically. Um, he's not pro probably not going to be dealing as much damage because Ashnan has the high multiplier. So, um, if you're using Ashnan, stick with him. Um, in all honesty, though, both of these fighters should be on the sideline. Um, neither one is too too good at this point. So, um, there are much better single target preempts that have been coming out recently. So, um, you may want to go ahead and try to go above Bonavox as well as Ashnan if you are looking for a single target preempt. 
Last but not least, we have to compare our new paid bill legendary, Mr. Flutherell. And the one we're going to be comparing him to, I thought was the closest, was Draga here. One of our newer legendaries and one of the first Earth legendaries to come out since like forever. So, Flutherell, Water Champ, Draga, Earth Champ. Dunnybrook all for Fruthael Elite. Nightbloom all elite for Druaga. They both have a cooldown of 3-2. Now let's get into our total stats here. Who's the better fighter? Flutherell, 33,015 total stats. Druaga, 33,281. So statistically, Druaga is the better fighter. But to get more specific, Flutherell has 1,528 more HP. Druaga has 1,940 more attack, 1,258 more defense, 499 more wisdom, and Fluther L, of course, has 1,903 more agility. So, both of these fighters are really close to one another, guys. I mean, they are really close. So, it basically comes down to what you are looking for, once again, for your band. What do you feel you need, or what do you feel is better? Do you think HP and agility is more important? Okay, then you would go with Flutherell. Or do you think attack, defense, and, and wisdom is more important? Okay, you would go with Druaga. Now, me personally, I would go with Druaga. I think he's just a... I don't even want to say better. But if I had a choice between the two, I definitely would go with Druaga. But I don't want to say one's better than the other because statistically, they are so very, very close, guys. So um, either one of these fighters will do you some good. Um, but if you had to choose, I personally would go with Drew Ogden. So there we have it, guys. The prize highlights for our Rock the Shamrock PvP event. Um, I hope you guys were able to enjoy it. And also the new things I introduced here I thought were really interesting. And also give you a little bit more information about these fighters. Something that may be a deciding factor for you. So I hope this video was able to help you out guys um, I hope you enjoyed it once again please continue to like favorite subscribe share comment and everything else and I'll be back at you guys with more Defender Texas videos soon I'm out of here guys later